What conspiracy theories do you think are too logical to ignore? That this question is reposted every couple of weeks by them to see just how close the public is to figuring out their schemes. And that this response is reposted every time to throw you off our trail. Mattress Firm is a drug cartel or a money laundering company or maybe they're laundering money for the drug cartels. I don't know, but whatever it is, they're up to no good. With the number of millionaire slash billionaires that are psychopaths or similar, there must be a few super rich serial killers out there. By extension there must be people making money supplying victims in the same way Epstein was supplying girls to the wealthy who wanted to scratch an itch. With the money, power and influence would come governments and intelligence agencies willing to overlook or cover up terrible actions for leverage. New Coke was a way for Coca-Cola to switch from real sugar to corn syrup without people noticing. Switch to the new formula that everyone hates. Keep it for a while so that people demand the old one back, then switch it back after enough time has passed that people wouldn't notice the relatively subtle change. Nothing's actually happening in Area 51. The government just keep it so people will focus on it and ignore the shady stuff happening somewhere else. That the US knowingly left POWs behind in Vietnam. Google Maps only asks you for feedback on its navigation when it knows it did a good job. I use navigation all the time. And I find that when it gets me to the destination on time or earlier than predicted, I get a notification asking to rate the trip. But if it gets me there after it originally estimated, I never get that notification. The fashion industry makes too much money from purses to care about making pockets for women easily available. I like that people always are worried that Epstein was murdered instead of suicide. What if this was a ploy to cover up that he just escaped or paid his way out of prison? The reason Disney came out with a movie called Frozen was so that when you googled Disney Frozen you would get information about the movie and not websites talking about Walt Disney's body being frozen. The same goes for Disney on Ice. Amazed that I haven't seen Gary Webb mentioned. Expose the CIA for assisting in drug trafficking and commit suicide with two bullets to the head. The theory that Epstein didn't kill himself. Memes aside. He could've probably exposed a lot more rich people for their SX crimes. They just bumped him off before he could do so. Jamie Lynn Spears was raped by Dan Schneider. He is the father of her first child. I believe that the U.S. government has men in black that make people disappear if they know more than what's good for them. Pretty sure I saw it here on Reddit at one point. But someone brought up the art trade. That these million dollar art shows slash individual pieces that go for insanely high prices are just a way for money laundering. O.J. Simpson is Khloe Kardashian's father. Rob Kardashian himself didn't want a DNA test done because he knew he wasn't the father. And if you look at Khloe, you can easily tell she has some similarities to O.J. I quite like the missing cosmonauts theory. It's unlikely but seems like it could have been possible. It boils down to the idea that Yuri Gagarin wasn't the first man in space. He was just the first man in space to survive the entire process. There is a giant money laundering cycle driven by the sale of paintings. It's just a piece of canvas with some paint on it. I may understand some people would be willing to buy paintings from the Renaissance, but modern art is definitely a huge money laundering instrument. The FBI keeps posting questions like this to see what the public knows. This isn't a conspiracy theory but I find any chance I can to say that dinosaurs definitely had feathers and deniers are just clinging to Spielberg's image of them. The Denver Airport Theory I mean the capstone of the building literally has the Freemason logo on it. There's some weird-ass apocalypse murals on the walls, the runways look like a swastika, and there's a 50-foot-tall horse statue with red glowing eyes. I mean seriously who the FK designed that place? Nutley NJ, where Martha Stewart was born, has a butcher shop every other corner. How much meat does one small blue-collar town need? Suspicious. 1. Kennedy gets elected too. Kennedy is critical of the CIA, his own VP and military for wanting to turn the Cold War into a hot one and the willingness to perform false flag operations, Project Northwoods, to do it. 3. Kennedy is shot for. His VP takes power 5. Classified. Ooh time to sort by controversial. Some torture devices such as the Iron Maiden were made up hundreds of years later so people would think well, a regular hanging ain't too bad then. Jamie Lynn Spears. Miranda Cosgrove, Victoria Justice, etc. were raped by Dan Schneider. Nickelodeon let him get away with a lot. There's so many feet jokes in all those shows. A lot of the interviews with those cast members get really awkward when they're around Dan. If you got to pursue your dream career when you really wanted it wouldn't you do just about anything? If you made Dan Schneider mad your career would be ruined and your dreams would be over. Let me introduce you to hashtag Wonka Piercer. The theory that Oscar-winning director Bong Joon-ho made a sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with his 2012 film Snowpiercer. 
McDonald's shake machines are never actually down, the night crew people are just too lazy to clean it. That karma on Reddit really does nothing. The whole aliens in Area 51 thing was to cover up the fact it's actually a military test facility. The gov would rather have alien BS about that place than have other governments steal or sell their weapons and tech to avoid another war. Pretty smart emo. We don't know who killed Kennedy. I think the CIA is behind the JFK assassination. Probably too late to this thread but the idea that there are too many chicken wings for the amount of chicken sold. There is something like a billion chicken wings sold every Super Bowl. Where are they coming from? That civilizations have risen and fallen far earlier than we currently are aware. And that ancient civilizations were way more capable than we give them credit for. The Allies certainly knew about the Holocaust long before April May 1945, they never just happened upon the camps as they were defeating Nazi Germany. This begs the question on why they never lifted a finger to stop the importations, destroy the rail lines to the camps, etc. But they never did despite them knowing what was going on. Princess Diana car crash wasn't accidental. I truly believe P. Philip hired someone to get rid of her and have a feeling that when him, Elizabeth and Charles die some very secret conversations, emails ECC will come out. Madeleine McCann was accidentally killed by her parents. I don't believe they intended to do it but I do believe they covered it up and once the press ECC arrived they seen an opportunity to make money out of the situation. The media is manipulated by the government so they can teach us what to think, feel believe. You know damn well same as I do that tilde Sony tilde Paramount made that stunt with Sonic on purpose. That's by far the best commercial they could've gotten which saved them lord knows how much money. The US government's involvement in the crack cocaine epidemic. With all the scientists in the world there has to be at least one secret lab on this planet where they have cloned a human. Drive. Claw is Inspector Gadget. Edit. Dr. Claw is human inspector and Inspector Gadget is obviously a younger clone of him. The NFL manipulates its games just enough in order to get the best product out of their season because they are a business with billions of dollars on the line. That intelligent humans and advanced societies existed before the last ice age. I saw once that the Titanic that sank wasn't actually the Titanic but a very convoluted plan to cash out insurance from the damaged R. M. S. Olympic, and that the Titanic retired in April 1935 under the name of R. M. S. Olympic. Can't find the article I read it on but it kinda makes sense, had pictures of the hull and some signature features that made it very convincing. NASCAR is fake it's just Hot Wheels going around a track and all the sounds are made by one guy in a sound booth imitating what he thinks a race car would sound like. That Toby Flanderson is the Scranton Strangler. U.S. intelligence conducting organized blackmail operations out of Epstein's Island. The prosecutor handling Epstein's old case was told to back off and go easy because Epstein was intelligence. Acosta's departure from the administration confirmed that this was not just a rumor. So as an American, I would really like to know exactly who was blackmailing who, how far it extended, and what political decisions were affected. A North American primate aka Bigfoot. Not saying has still around just maybe he existed. Some people had to talk about Fight Club. Otherwise, it wouldn't exist. Jar Jar Binks was supposed to be a Sith Lord in the Big Bad of the Star Wars prequels, but George Lucas screwed up the directing and then chickened out after seeing the public reception of the character. See also r slash Darth Yar Jar. Diana death was not so accidental, mouthless face. My dog did not go to doggy Disneyland because he won a lifetime ticket for being a good boy think that he in fact died. I went way deep reading this and am disappointed in you reddit, these conspiracy theories were weak as fk. 9-11 was allowed to happen so the government could go ahead with political agendas that would've been very unpopular otherwise. There were all kinds of advanced warnings that an attack was imminent, yet they were ignored. The attack allowed for the invasion and never-ending occupation of the Middle East, as well as the Patriot Act that allows for increased spying by the government, and was passed only about a month after 9-11. Amazon Go isn't about replacing cashiers, but about selling stock, receiving tax breaks for road and selling marketing analytics on the shoppers. This is why the stores are placed in financial districts and aren't open 24 hours or the weekend. Their camera system is backed up by employees watching you. Google Amazon Go Chicago. They're closed right now. That the world is controlled by s select few ultra rich. Of course it is because they are doing all the backdoor deals making each other even more money. FYI the moon landings were real in fact there were six in total and it's not hard to achieve. Pro tip, read the comments in Alex Jones voice before deciding whether to believe them. The entertainment industry is designed to whore out kids. Let me just say it, 
the meteorite that wiped out the dinosaurs could be a UFO, and where are the aliens? It's pretty logical to alien believers. And it's just my favorite, just thought I'd say it. Robert Carsashen retook the bar exam after not practicing law for years just to join O.J. Simpson's legal team. He was also seen taking a bag of O.J. when he got off the plane. The theory goes that the bag contained evidence like the murder weapon or bloody clothes and Carsashen joined the legal team so he couldn't be called to testify. I don't deserve these upvotes. The bag thing wouldn't have been protected by attorney-client privilege and Carsashen could still be called even if O.J.'s his client. Denver Airport being a fallout shelter for the elite. The fact that it went like a billion over budget and all the symbolism. The Chuck E. Cheese pizza theory. It makes too much sense. They can deny it all they want. Pizza slices that don't match up. Makes no sense. Trader Joe's makes their parking lot small intentionally to make it seem like it's more popular. Ronan Farrow is obviously Frank Sinatra's kid and not Woody Allen's. See for yourself. ISIS was created by the CIA. McDonald's trains their employees to forget your sauce when you order nuggets. This saves them billions every year. Fidel Castro being Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's father. The resemblance really is uncanny, he looks nothing like his supposed biological father, and when you see that the dates his mom was staying with the Castros in Cuba, everything really does line up. She also had numerous affairs rumors with people like Mick Jagger while she was married. She really had a history of getting around and partying at places like Studio 54 etc. The true conspiracies are right in front of our eyes. The extent of corporate control over the democratic process is no secret but we're all too busy debating the moon landing, flat earthers and anti-vaxxers. Typing in your email address to unsubscribe from a mailing list actually enters it into more mailing lists. So my dad actually confirmed a popular Reddit conspiracy theory. I told him about the laundry detergent caps have the full line too high on purpose, and he told me this was true. He interned at PG and they taught him the full line was for the highest level of cleanliness our product can give. You can get away with using much less detergent. The reason hot dogs and hot dog buns aren't packaged in the same amount is so customers always have too many buns or hot dogs so they have to buy more. The moon landing didn't happen the moon is still in the sky, it hasn't landed, so it might be true. World Bank and Media Manipulation, just common sense that those in power would do anything they can do stay in power. Believing that the elite have our best interest in mind is simply foolish. China created the coronavirus in the lab, f***ed up and now it's out in the open. We're all running to get a cure which should happen soon. Also, to those people saying this is population control, that's nonsense, even the rich are getting it. This isn't that. The Flat Earth Society was started by NASA to distract us from the fact that the Earth isn't flat or round. When they shut down all air traffic on November 9th they gave specific permission for a bunch of rich slash royal Saudis to fly out of the US. I've never understood it, either in isolation or within the context of any of the other conspiracy theories around the September 11th attacks. You never see Spider-Man and Donald Trump together, fearful face, scared face, astonished face, edit damn 225 upvotes thanks 950 upvotes. Hitter didn't die the way history says. Michael Jackson and some other celebrities aren't actually dead and that they live remotely without social media just to enjoy their retirement. That here on Reddit we're living in a virtual prison for the mind. I think we actually landed on the moon, but the footage they got was terrible or unusable. So the footage of the moon landing we all know is actually fake because of this. The anti-vaccine movement was actually started to kill off people stupid enough to not get inoculated against deadly disease, thus strengthening the gene pool. Donald Trump is purposefully handling the coronavirus poorly so that it reaches pandemic state and he can declare martial law. Martial law, is the imposition of direct military control of normal civilian functions by a government, especially in response to a temporary emergency such as invasion or major disaster, or in an occupied territory. That we're being listened to at all times. My phone hears me when I say hey Siri and activates Siri. Same with my Google Home. They'd have to be listening at all times to hear that right? Also, Spotify did a deal where if you have Spotify Premium, you get a free Google Home. There are also deals on them frequently, which makes it seem as though they are trying to get them in as many households as possible. Marilyn Monroe's death was very convenient for the JFK clan. I like the one where humans are actually extremely stupid and only exhibit intelligence as an emergent property of population size. 1 human 0. 001 intelligent thoughts per day odd equals no dice 6. 8 billion 0. 001 intelligent thoughts per day equals spaceships and guns. 
My favorite one is that UFOs are just us in the way distant future time traveling. We probably developed some sort of cloaking device so we never see them except for when it malfunctions. Big Farm already have the cure for major diseases. They just won't let it come to the market as therapy earns more profits than cure. 9-11, no matter what you say or think, that was absolutely, 100% guaranteed. An inside, controlled demolition-based, governmental job. Epstein didn't kill himself. Every time something major happens around the world or in a specific country, coronavirus, Hong Kong protests, Epstein, bills get passed while the citizens are distracted. Coronavirus is an escaped bioweapon. There's a biological laboratory in Wuhan, so it kinda makes sense. Fidel Castro is actually Justin Trudeau's father. You actually can see John Cena. There's no Illuminati that controls the world with virgin sacrifices, or secret handshakes and shit. No, the way I see it, the truth is far more mundane. The richest 50 to 100 people on each continent or geographical area get together every so often and decide collectively and separately who does what where and when, which government will do such and such, and so on. Money makes the world go around. Stands to reason that wealth pulls the real strings in the world. I mean, I don't sit about and obsess about this, I have shit to do, but it wouldn't surprise me at all. Check out the Bilderberg Group. It's stupid that in 2020 people still believe that giraffes actually exist. A lot of memes about recently released movies TV shows, Bird Box and The Witcher are good examples, as they're both supplied by Netflix, are supplied by streaming services. That school is made for factory-slash-industry workers. Schools were on the rise during the Industrial Revolution, and are still quite the same today. In school, you have to follow given directions, then do them. You also receive information, then throw it back up on a test. Government's knowledge of space aliens for over 60 years. And other anomalies they don't tell the public that would cause panic or fear. Children are removed from immigrants at the border, so those children can be trafficked into the child sex industry that is run by the powerful establishment.